Tonight we had a really fascinating discussion with David Micah, Executive Director of the Florida Petroleum Council, and Jennifer Hecker, the Director of Natural Resource Policy at the Conservancy of Southwest Florida. The audience was able to ask questions of the two panelists. They both argued different sides of the issue of fracking. So what do you perceive as the greatest misconception as it relates to fracking in Florida? Right. That this engineering technology is somehow going to harm Floridians. I think that's a major misconception. The advent of this technology, hydraulic fracturing, along with horizontal drilling, the combination has transformed America into becoming much more independent, energy independent. It has led to a downward pr pressure on prices that we're all enjoying to the tune of almost $740 per person so far this year. And what's next for fracking in Florida? What do you see coming up? Well, it's, it's hoped that Florida can be part of this renaissance and we can continue to produce oil and gas in an environmentally safe manner like we have for the last 70 years, bringing about 24 billion gallons of product to, uh, to Floridians for their use. So what are your biggest concerns about fracking in Florida, especially Southwest Florida? Well, I think number one, our biggest concern with fracking is the fact that there hasn't been any scientific studies about the impacts, the potential impacts of these uh, techniques in Florida's very unique geology and hydrology. And so we're essentially experimenting uh, with our water supplies and we don't feel that's appropriate. We feel that in the absence of science, we should not be allowing these techniques uh, until they're evaluated, but instead the reverse is occurring where they're being allowed and we're being told that there's no science to show that they're unsafe and therefore it's appropriate to continue to allow them. Uh, there will be some apparent limited study of some techniques, but that still will not study all the techniques that use fracking chemicals and, and that still leaves us vulnerable. And what are your concerns about legislation that's pending? Well, again, the, the issue that the legislation is only going to be suspending and studying the use of hydraulic fracturing and acid fracturing, but not acid stimulation with fracking chemicals, which is actually more likely to be pursued and used here in Florida. So we don't want legislation that only regulates a small subsection of the techniques and omits, you know, looking at the majority. And so that's a big problem. We also have an issue with the preemption, the fact that the uh, legislation right now would remove local government's authorities to restrict this type of activity. It's appropriate for local governments to maintain their home rule because they look at different things than the state looks at. Even if the legislation was perfect, uh, it wouldn't change the state permitting process, which does not address zoning issues like light, noise, truck traffic, and land use incompatibilities. That's something that local governments do, and they should be able to continue to do that and restrict uh, these land uses as they would any other land use that is uh, potentially incompatible with their local community and quality of life. Uh, what we walk away with is one thing that everyone can agree on. The public does not know enough about this issue, nor do legislators. So it's up to you, the person watching this right now, to become educated, learn about fracking, develop an opinion, and voice your opinion. That's how democracy works, and that's how we'll keep democracy alive. And what do you recommend the voter do? So the voter, we would really encourage them to become educated on this issue. We are going to be hosting a summit, uh, the Florida Fracking Summit. It, you can find more information at flfrackingsummit.org and register. It's open to the general public. Well, it, was a, it was a very civil discourse that we were able to interact with each other in. And for that, I'm really grateful to the League and to the Garden Clubs of Florida for putting this together. It was fun. Um, when, you, when you're able to do that, have a discussion, I think we're all better off. Now, do we have agreement on every type of fact associated with this? No. And will we? Probably not. It's not the nature of our being. But I think that it was a good opportunity to, uh, for all of us to learn a little bit more. But I think it was a good discussion, and a lot of people learned about these techniques and the regulation and the need for updating that uh, to suspend the use of these techniques until they're studied. And, and we heard a lot of different viewpoints, which I think was, was interesting, a lot of thoughtful questions. So um, it, was, it was a very productive evening.